Hi everyone and welcome everybody to the third hot sauce show by Heat Supply uh, where we just talk about hot sauce essentially. Um, we use the content you guys created by uh, the spicy statements or the random questions but we will also discuss some other things. Um, for example, where we will start with is our favorite hot sauces from the past two months because in August we didn't do a hot sauce show, it was like yeah. a vacation time. So we skipped August and now we're in September Yeah. and uh, we're going to discuss August and a little bit of July maybe, but uh, yeah, maybe a mainly little bit. August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That old red that old red Okay, so what's the hot sauce that you have been using the most in the last month? Um, maybe the sauce that I use the most is uh, the Charman Picante. We had that one in the previous subscription box, yeah. need for each subscription box. Um, it, it's maybe a bit more like an autumn sauce because it's like a very strong pumpkin flavor but also very savory. This will definitely be a very good autumn hot sauce but I already used it a lot it's very versatile um, yeah and it's super nice and it's pretty medium on the heat so yeah good um, the Rijmakers Heatmakers heat enhancer is back and yeah I just use it a lot especially if everything with meat almost yeah. is it's going uh, with the and if you want answer. something to be smoky and a bit sweet, yeah, then yeah. sweet, smoky, it's just very good on meat. Yeah. And um, the third one is the Valentina, the black label. It's cheap, it's a lot for what you get, yeah. and it's 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 just a good sauce. I use it with, uh, yeah, mainly with Mexican dishes or when you are with friends and yeah. you have some pizza, I just toss something yeah. on. It's, it's always a good, a good one to add to your order as well. I mean, it's yeah. 350 for a bottle, I think. Yeah, and it's, it's like uh, 300 plus Two million. times the size of a normal hot sauce bottle. Yeah. So it's a yeah. amazing value for money. Yeah. So uh, it's a good one. Uh, what I have been using last month is uh, I've been using Richard's garlic a lot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, also a really good flavor and a lot of garlic. So uh, I mainly use that with a lot of pasta dishes, Italian dishes, uh, yeah, so mainly there. I've also been using the High Marcus Hate Marcus Heat and Answer a lot for the same reason as you've been using it. Uh, yeah. Sweet, uh, smoky and a good kick. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, as always, the Queen Majesty Scotch Bonnet and Ginger, I mean, uh, yeah, that's my all time favorite, I think. And that one I use mainly for uh, the Asian dishes that can use some ginger and, uh, and a little bit of kick. And, uh, and also, uh, interesting side note is that Sean Evans' favorite hot sauce is also the Queen Majesty yeah. Scotch Bonnet and Ginger. He told that like a week ago. the Q&A of season 12. Yeah. yeah. Now let's discuss the spicy statements. <laughs> August and the first one was uh, Hot Ones couldn't continue without Sean Evans. Um, no, 89% agreed and 11% disagreed. Yeah. We have to say we uh, used the, the answers from Instagram for yeah. these spicy statements because halfway from halfway in August we all of a sudden couldn't post them on Facebook for some reason so yeah. We're just keeping them to Instagram now. Yeah. So, uh, so eighty-nine percent thinks uh, hot ones couldn't continue without Sean Evans, and eleven percent thinks it could. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I'm actually on the it, yeah, it, it couldn't continue side, but there's a little thing inside of me which would say like, if someone else, like a comedian or something, like. Uh, Tom Segura or yeah. Bill Kreischer, you know, who are friends from the show. I think some one of them could maybe take over, but it would be super different. But yeah, Hot Ones would be pretty different without Sean Evans. Yeah. I mean, he's a good interviewer, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't make up all the, the, the questions no. that he asks. I think it's a big, uh, big organization. Uh, I don't think the team is that big, but they must have some people yeah. who do research and just 
Yeah. Kapal, they yeah. probably have a couple of full timers that uh, dive into the to the guest. Yeah. And then come up with really interesting uh, questions. Um, yeah, I really like it how Sean Evans does it, and I, I really would be sad if he, he would stop. Yeah. And maybe even Hot Ones would stop without Sean Evans. I mean, he's been there for uh, f from day one, so he's, he's one of the driving forces. Yeah. And I think the 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 big audience of viewers would be very disappointed if you would stop and yeah. I think a lot of them would just say like well then just stop with hot ones yeah just find out something new or something but so yeah. I, I'm, I'm also on the uh, on the side that hot ones couldn't yeah continue without Sean Evans not like this but uh, yeah so we agree yeah 89 percent agreed so that's fine uh, the second one was I never buy mild hot sauces. 24% uh, agreed and 76% disagreed. Yeah. Um, yeah. We never buy hot sauces. <laughs> yeah, that's of course the because first. we have them in the in the inventory. Yeah, but if I um, if I look at if I use mild hot sauces, I think I rarely do. Not much. Mild. Yeah. I mean, what what's mild? I mean, we uh, have the category mild. We have the category mild. Okay, yeah, but uh, everything name, name an example of a sauce that's in the in there. Um, for example, the uh, heartbeat blueberry. Um, yeah, something, something like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't use that a lot, but that's mainly because of the blueberry. I don't eat a lot of blueberry hot sauces in general, but I think there are some hot sauces in that category that I sometimes use, but. Uh, the milder ones, I don't use them often. I always go to medium heat or above. But but still, I would, if the flavor is good, I would buy mm. a mild hot sauce. Yeah, for me, it would definitely also be on the disagree side because yeah. flavor is more important. Yeah. But um, the sauces that are in the mild category are actually really mild. Yeah. Usually, they barely have any spice. You know, I just like some spice in my yeah. food and the mild sauces don't give me that spice that I... But we would buy it anyway. Yeah, we so could buy it. If the flavor would really appeal yeah. to me, I would do it. Yeah. So, and the third uh, statement was I always put my opened uh, hot sauce bottles in the fridge and 85% agreed and 15% uh, percent disagreed. Yeah. And I, I actually always put my hot sauces in my fridge. Yeah, me too. It's also a question we get a lot. Yeah. And most of the brands also put it on the label, yeah. uh, refrigerate after opening, just to be sure that um, they don't want to run bad. Yeah, and it's just a better way to, to remain the quality of the sauce, yeah. to, to guarantee that it will be uh, better preserved in the fridge. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why people wouldn't do it, maybe because they don't like a cold sauce yeah, on their it. food. Some but people just like to have some room temperature yeah, but then, so but then take your sauce out before dinner or lunch or whatever. That could also a, a, a half an hour before you are about to lunch or di have dinner. Yeah. Then the sauce will be kind of room temperature, and I mean, yeah, I'm I'm pretty okay with a uh, little cold hot sauce on mm. my uh, on my. Yeah, food. me too, and I uh, I'm definitely also on the agree side. Yeah, and the final one is I only buy my hot sauces online. 48% uh, agreed and 52% disagreed. So, so it's almost 50-50. Yeah, I don't know if there's, there's much to discuss about it. I mean, uh, we, we don't buy hot sauces. Um, yeah, maybe if we would stroll some uh, yeah. around somewhere sure. in some kind of store and we would notice a hot sauce we don't know or something. If there was a possibility like, oh. to travel. Yeah, if we could Here travel right now, yeah. And we would spot a uh, cool hot water yeah, sauce course. somewhere. Yeah, sure. We would buy them offline. Yeah, yeah. definitely. If, if the, 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 the bottle is nice and the, the, the flavors uh, yeah. look nice, interesting, then yeah. yeah, of course. It's just I, I wouldn't buy it normally in a supermarket or something. No, because the, the, the offer is really small and yeah. Uh, yeah. not super versatile. No, exactly. So, so yeah, I would be on the uh, disagree side. But since we, yeah, yeah, in the, in the current situation, it, it's an agree. And now we're going to discuss the random hot questions. That we
Um, the first one was name one ingredient hot sauce maker should use more often. So yeah, there were a few people who mentioned uh, booze like peated whiskey or tequila or craft beer. Um, yeah, I would also be a fan of that because I really I am into whiskey. Not that much into tequila, but I'm also into craft beer. Yeah, but there are quite some hot sauces that yeah. that pick are picking the uh, the craft beers and the the, the whiskeys up. Yeah, for the for the sauces. So for example, the heat enhancer was with whiskey. Yeah, um, tequila is in um, Queen Majesty's sauce. Yeah. For example, there are more uh, sauces that use tequila or gin or yeah something and, like that. And recently, we have added some sauces that have beer in it. Yeah, the hot sauces. Yeah, from uh, English brand Hopped. Yeah, one of them was in our uh, like latest subscription box also with yeah. the IPA inspired flavors. Yeah, so there are quite some brands that are adding these to yeah. the sauces. Uh, some other ingredients that have been mentioned are lemongrass, for example. Yeah, I really like that in a sauce as well. Yeah. And but still, there are some brands that do it. Uh, we have Seed Ranch that has lemongrass. Yeah. In their hot Thai green, I think yeah. it was on hot ones also. And the one that called uh, that mentioned lemongrass was proper proper heathen hot sauce. Okay. Uh, yeah, but lemongrass is for the Asian style. Uh, yeah, hot sauce. It's very nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, and the final one uh, at Duck Pond Stan uh, <laughs> mentioned apple, apple, <laughs> apple in Dutch, apple in English. Uh, I don't think. I don't think he. Meant. iPhones into yeah. hot sauce. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, apple. It's it is something that we. It's not that much uh, used. No, in hot sauce. No, I think Bravado has one. It was in the. Is it, um, I'm not sure which one it was. They have one that has apple. And yeah. It's actually a really good good sauce, but I'm not sure we have it. We had it. We had it. But it, yeah, people didn't seem to like it that much. I did, but so. I mean, yeah, apple. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure. I I I do eat apple sometimes, but. Yeah, but it's, it can be a nice touch in several ingredients. Yeah. Maybe like uh, apple mousse, spicy. Yeah. Okay, next random hot question was the only thing I don't like about hot sauce is. And we asked you to finish that sentence. Um, at Noah van der Put says the afterburn the next morning, mm -hmm. which is something. And really at the beginning of the hot sauce journey, I uh, experienced yeah, that yeah. quite a lot. But yeah, when when I get used to it, I, I actually never had that anymore. Uh -huh. To be honest, I, I have ne never really felt it. <laughs> no, not really. Better. And still I don't, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure people, some people have it. I mean, you hear it a lot, people yeah. after burn, ring of fire. Uh, but no, sorry, I uh, I never have it. So uh, that's uh, not something I, I don't like about hot sauce. Um, Lipke Bechten says the price. Yeah. And he also says I understand why, but when you use them a lot, it's a little pricey sometimes. Uh, yeah, that's that's the truth. I mean, it's a lot more expensive than a bottle of mayonnaise or ketchup. Yeah. But ketchup often is 50% sugar, not 50, but almost. And it's made with uh, cheaper ingredients. Yeah. I mean, peppers are really expensive, especially the uh, the hotter ones, mm -hmm. the more rare uh, peppers are. Yeah, really, really expensive. They can be like twenty times more expensive than a kilo of uh, of tomatoes, for example. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah they yes. are more. They are more expensive. But on the other side, most people uh, still. Uh, can use their bottles of hot sauce longer than a big bottle of ketchup. Yeah. So yeah. It, and and also the the shelf life is longer. So yeah. Value for money, I think. If you consider that, it's not really pricey. But if you're really a big consumer, and um, yeah, if like Lipke Bertens, Bertens, for example, then it's a, it can be really pricey. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the other one, it's uh, at it's me Travis W says the wasted hot sauce that gets stuck to the top of the bottle if you don't clean it every time. 
yeah, that's a bit of an issue with uh, with one brand. It's a little worse or less worse than the other. Yeah, it depends on the neck. If it's yeah. really really small, or yeah. then uh, it, it, it it clocks up. Uh, yeah, but and neck. also around the around the top a little around bit when you when you pour, you know, some can just go down the the top. So right. if you don't, yeah, the rim. If you don't uh, clean that immediately, yeah. it will be very messy. But it's it's also a bit hot sauce wasted, of course, because it's stuck in there and you don't yeah. want to eat it because it's like hard and dry. <laughs> yeah, it's not really tasty. No, exactly. No, I just sometimes just use a paper towel and yeah, you just clean it, in it a little bit, and then you'll you'll be fine, I think. But yeah, I, I get it. It's a, it's a frustration sometimes for some people. But uh, yeah, just clean it every now and then. I would yeah. say. So. Yeah, it's the easiest. It's something you don't want to do at that moment, but if you keep postponing you it, don't, you don't have to worse. do it every time. I mean, no. you do it a couple of times a week or once a week, then yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. So the next one. Um, the next one is: What is your favorite basic slash classic hot sauce? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a bit of a maybe a bit vague, like classic or basic hot yeah. sauce, but yeah. I think most people know what we meant. Yeah. Some people did name Secret Artwork, but I don't see that as like a basic standard um, hot sauce. Maybe it has too many uh, like uh, herbs and spices for that. Yeah. But still, on the other side, I think it's a basic one. Uh, yeah. I mean, actually, just a classic hot sauce should be a hot sauce that is that is just super versatile. Yeah, and can be used with almost anything. And in that case, Secret Artvark is mm -hmm. an option. But um, at Sky World set uh, Sriracha, which of course is yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. Sometimes we discuss if Sriracha is a hot sauce, but it's a sauce and it's and, and, and it's, it's hot. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's hot sauce. Yeah, I mean we can keep it uh, in the hot sauce category and um, yeah, why not? Yeah. It's, I think for many, it's a classic and maybe the most used. Uh, the next one, the Sepper Sean uh, says Marie Sharps, which is maybe the favorite for, my, for me. The, the classic one. Yeah. Yeah, Marie Sharps. Yeah, he's naming the brand, but yeah. I'm not sure which sauce, but most of the Marie Sharps sauces are pretty um, all around in flavor. Yeah. flavor. So, and quite yeah. similar in, in flavor as well. Yeah. But yeah, you have the mild to hold yeah. the Belizean heat, but making all, steps on the yeah. heat scale, but the flavor remains somewhat the same. Yeah. So, but I really like that one. That answer, I would agree as well. I think that it, that it might be my favorite. Mm -hmm. But uh, at Trek Christie says uh, a tie between Cholula and Tapatio. Yeah, that these are staples. But um, yeah, Cholula and Tapatio. I mean, I do like them both. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't have a lot of depth and flavor for me. True. I mean, it's it's a lot, quite a lot of vinegar, uh, some red peppers, and uh, some some uh, spices like mm -hmm. cumin and stuff like that. The depth of flavor is not as good as in Marie Sharps, I think. In Marie no, Sharps, you really taste the habanero peppers. They have a different taste. Yeah, true. The Belizean. Habaneros are like just taste a bit fresher or something more fresh or more fruity. I'm not sure what it is, but I do have to add the uh, Valentina to the race. By the way, for me personally, because but it's for me so that cheap. yeah, it's it's quite it's quite like uh, tapatio or something yeah. flavor wise. It's not that different, but it's even cheaper and yeah, it's just good, you know. Yeah, but uh, as a favorite basic or classic sauce, then I would definitely say one of the Marie Sharp. Yeah, me too. Or even, uh, it's, it wasn't mentioned, the Tia Lupita original. I think someone did mention it. Okay. But he said it was like a tie between Tia Lupita and Secret Aardvark. Okay. But yeah. I didn't pick that one. But yeah, Tia Lupita could be added to that one as well. I really like that one too. Yeah. And the next uh, random question was, how many different hot sauces have you tried in your life? As an estimation, um, Niels Bolle said, according to my Sauce Boss app, 52. Yeah. So he reviewed 52 sauces on the Sauce Boss yeah. app, I think. Yeah, maybe something to mention to the hot sauce fans out there who don't know about the Sauce Boss app. Yeah. 
It's a handy little app where you can search for certain hot sauces. You can see their rating by users. And probably mainly uh, American users, but, but still. Uh, mainly, but there and there's a flavor profile of the sauce. Sometimes even reviews by the users. Yeah. It's really handy if you want to check out a new hot sauce and you haven't tried it yet, so you can yeah. look up and... Uh, it's like uh, untapped for craft beers, but... What's all for know for, uh, Vino for uh, oh, wine. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, Niels, Niels Bolle said 52 according to the app. Um, if that's a lot, by the way. Yeah, that's that's quite a lot. Yeah. And there were some people, the, the lowest we uh, were mentioned were like 20 or something. Okay. But um, at Ivan Kiosef says maybe 100 to 200. Mm -hmm. Which so we is, lost count. Yeah. <laughs> but I think for me it would be like something like that. I mean, we have we, more. We, we've had more than uh, I think in, yeah. in, since our start. Some uh, sauces that were that were there in the beginning, we have dropped them. Yeah. And at this point, we have around eighty to one hundred different sauces on the website, and we've all tried them. And, and we also the ones, ones that were dropped, uh, we had tried these as well, and we get a lot of samples from brands that want yeah, so to be on the web store. I think it's a 200 plus sauce yeah. that we've tried, maybe even 300, because we also visit the, the chili markets in the Netherlands oh, yeah, and, course, uh, yeah. Yeah. and in Germany and in Belgium. And so, so it's quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Probably it will probably 300 be to 300, yeah. yeah. But there is boss over boss. <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct English. Saying, but saying, uh, Hot Sauce Bay at Hot Sauce Bay says 1000 plus. Yeah, so that's a, that's that's a, a lot. And he uh, he also reached out to us to. But he does hot sauce reviews, right? Or, or isn't uh, that him? I'm not sure, but so. We, we did ask uh, Hot Sauce Bay after he answered that for his favorite of all time, but he couldn't really give it to us. He said he had a few always in rotation, but too many to name one. I get it. Yeah. Um, the final random hot question is name one product that should get a spicy version of it. Um, Anouk, at Anouk Rijmakers says Nutella, which would be definitely be something I would buy. That would be heaven. I mean, we, we there were more people who mentioned chocolate or something, yeah. but we actually did sell spicy chocolates for quite a while, but uh, at that point, uh, yeah, at that moment, people didn't really seem interested in it. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Nutella spicy version. You can try it if you uh, if you want. I mean, just uh, get Nutella as some hot sauce. Yeah, but then you would you would alter the flavor of Nutella. It yeah, a little be, bit. It would. The point would be to have that product with. More or less the same flavor, I think. Yeah, but spice. I mean, if you're gonna add spice, it always has a little flavor. I mean, yeah, true. But if you have chilies to what I already said, chocolate, it's not like it really tastes like that pepper. It's just more like chocolate yeah. than spice. But I would definitely buy Nutella, a spicy Nutella. Yeah, me too. Um, at Hanna VW says taxi, which is a drink. Is it a Dutch drink or something? I mean, I we had that as, uh, as a child. We, I don't think it's only Dutch. Actually. It's probably not only Dutch, but maybe it has a different name in the in the foreign country. Yeah, it's, it's like a jungle-themed fruit drink. Yeah, in these uh, small uh, packages. Yeah, they all also have bigger packages, but I think the tropical fruit one is like the the biggest of theirs. Yeah, but a spicy version of that. Yeah, spicy drinks. It's something that's seems hard to do right um, yeah you have of course you have quite a lot of ginger uh, yeah, flavored yeah. drinks that are kind of spicy and I actually really like that so yeah, if, that's it, if it involves ginger then I'm in yeah me too taxi ginger and uh, scotch bonnet yeah <laughs> let's make it <laughs> maybe you should ask Queen Majesty if she can make one let's collaborate with taxi um, at Kenny H A eighty nine says H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A
<laughs> they, uh, he says coquette, which is a Dutch uh, fried snack. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's an English name for it. No, not it's really. It's just a coquette. Yeah, it's a coquette. You should come to the Netherlands, Netherlands for a coquette only. Yeah. If you don't know what it is, K R O K E T. Yeah. Yeah. That's a coquette. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I would also. It contains uh, meat, yeah. beef, beef meat. Yeah. It's like uh, really slow cooked meat. Yeah. Into a ragu. What's the? Yeah. What it? I don't know what the English word is for ragu. I think it's ragu. Okay. Ragu. <laughs> so um, and then it gets um, with a with a crunchy breading. And then you deep fry it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's a coquette, but mainly. People eat it mainly with mustard. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if you make a spicier version of it, of a croquette, I mean, you can croquette, you have all kinds of croquette uh, nowadays. Yeah, so I mean, uh, a spicy one can, yeah. yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. People would and eat that. A funny bonus one by Hot Sauce Bay, who we just mentioned. He mentioned condoms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which would be. Yeah, just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, those were the random odd questions. Uh, we ask them every Monday. So, on Instagram, by the way, Instagram stories. So, yeah. if you want to answer it, just follow us. Yeah, if you want to join, check just it out answer Monday. the questions, and maybe you'll be in the next uh, hot sauce show episode. Yeah. Okay, that uh, concluded the spicy statements and random odd questions. Woo! Let's take a look at the. Uh, top 5 heat supply tags on Instagram. That old red shit. Cool. From the last month. I have them on my phone, so I. It's a uh, Guatanomat from August 2nd. And he was unpacking some, uh, some bottles of hot sauce. He had the Queen Majesty. Scotch bond and ginger and some uh, fresh uh, Marie Sharps XL bottles. So yeah, the, the XL bottles of Marie Sharps hot sauce. Um, yeah, we already mentioned we. Yeah, just compare them. Yeah, yeah we like them very much. The Marie Sharps hot sauces we noticed a lot of you guys do. So we also made these XL versions available. Yeah. So if you if you want to compare them, this is the normal version. And the bigger one is actually twice the size, right? Yeah. So this is 148 yeah. milliliters, and this is 296. Yeah. So it's so that's double. double. So yep. for the real lovers of uh, Marie Sharps, and uh, I guess Guatemala is one of them. Yeah. Because he ordered two. So uh, yeah, great choice. Yeah. Um, the next one is uh, Yuri Schuders on August 7th. He opened his fridge. Oh yeah, to show uh, which sauces were in there. So uh, quite quite hot sauces. He yeah, had the bomb. very hot. He had the bomb bravado black garlic and Carolina Reaper and the torchbearer garlic Reaper sauce. And in the back we can even see the last dab. Yeah, the last dab. So he must have ordered it from the United States, especially yeah. Uh, Heatonist. We, yeah, we can resell them. We yeah. have asked. Uh, we've asked Heatonist and. The makers of the sauce uh, multiple times, if we could, but now they want they want to keep it exclusive to them. Yeah, that's so also a question we get a lot: why we don't sell the last dab yeah, or we would really those really Caliendas, like to do so, but we really can't. Nope, we would like to, but no. But uh, Yuri Schuders has ordered it, so yeah. uh, nice. nice. Um, Patrick Bacher on August 13. Patrick Bacher. Bacher. Yeah, um, I think he ordered the hot one stand back. Yeah, the, the because he was showing a video uh, starting with Tapatio, going to Shaquanda, and all the way to the bomb and uh, yeah. uh, it's, the, it's the, hot, the hot ones challenge pack. Yeah, with ten hot sauces to just make it possible to make it even easier for you guys to to recreate it. Yeah, to recreate hot uh, hot ones. And in the past, we had we had customers or. Uh, people asking, uh, yeah, I want to recreate hot, so uh, hot ones, but uh, yeah, which what, which sauces sh should I choose? And now we have a ten pack uh, yeah. to easily, easily recreate it yeah. with your friends. So uh, 
Yeah, the last four, the last four sauces are quite hot, so we would say good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, on August 16th, Wotertz, Wotertz uh, yeah. recreated the veggie hot wings we made. Yeah. For our uh, one of our spicy or hot sauce recipes. Yeah, we do it every Sunday yeah. on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So every Sunday at uh, 12 o'clock. We have a, a new uh, a recipe involving hot sauce. Yeah. Um, so we, and he recreated the the uh, as you said the veggie hot wings. It's um, actually breaded cauliflower with yeah a lot of hot sauce involved. And yeah. Yeah, you can make that as an alternative for hot wings. Yeah. So it's so a vegetarian. Check those out. Really tasty. Subscribe. <laughs> but the last one is by Tony S on the August 28th. Yeah, good customer of ours. Yeah, someone who orders a lot. Thanks for that. And he uh, showed us a picture, shared a picture with uh, six sauces from a Rascal, fruity chili sauce, spicy shark, hippy dippy green, tia lupita, which is sold out, unfortunately. Sauce uh, Bay and the Bronx hot sauce. Yeah. So some great variety and yeah, great sauces. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it for uh, this hot sauce show actually. Yeah. So of course, if you guys have some questions or something, you can ask them in the comments on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. DM. Yeah. DM, email. So that that can be a question for the next episode. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to be featured on the show, uh, feel feel free to always uh, answer the random hot questions or to uh, to send in uh, your pictures of the sauce that you're using. So then you might be on the, on the top five of uh, hot sauce uh, heat supply text next yeah. time. Yeah. So uh, so that was it for this uh, month, and uh, we hope to see you at the next one. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.